Okay, so I'm here at the Philip Rice Gallery where I just hung up everything I had in my studio, kind of salon style. And the squares and the hexagons, which are the original shapes that I started this series with, I'm gonna retire. And I found three new shapes to work with. Uh, one of them is these figures. I call them figures. They're five feet tall, 11 inches wide. They've got the hole at the top and a ruler at the bottom. And I just love these. I just sold the one on the right, the metal one working on three others similar, and also a, a horizontal version of this, which I haven't finished the first one yet. But I'm gonna do these vertical figures and the horizontal kind of Mesa Vista ones. And again, here's this red automotive paint, two foot square inlaid with wood and metal, polished stainless steel to a mirror. Of course, that black hole just gobbles up whatever it sees. Big hexagon, big square, automotive black, copper patina, three foot square, you know, I've shown these pieces and they're kind of going into deep storage now. And this hexagon, copper and painted wood. Some more wood and metal patina. This one just sold. And then the other things that I'm going to be working with, as long as along with those figures and horizontal vista pieces, are these works on paper. And it's collage. The black you see, either there or here, is a dimensional hole. It's two, two and a half inches deep. And these are bits of metal and rulers glued to arches, 300 pound watercolor paper. And the frames I'm building myself, made out of curly oak, using museum glass. Um, this one is actually the first one where the hole I'm leaving without black velvet, so it changes. Again, that hole is about two and a half inches deep. There's brushed aluminum in the back and it changes. Voila.